Running the sanctuary absolutely brings me peace. The work is 100% cathartic for me. You know, I find myself getting tied up in it and being busy, and then it's really nice just to sit, breathe in life, and it's beyond zen. Sault Marie Airport Development Corporation, owner and operator of the Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada Airport, is proud to support the Sioux Curlers Fall Classic and welcome all to beautiful Sault Ste. Marie. The Sault Ste. Marie Airport, go there to get anywhere. Good evening, curling fans across Canada and around the world. As we bring you to the inaugural Curlers Association Fall Classic, presented by Kyoto Tractors Canada, live from our Community Credit Union Center in beautiful Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. We had a fantastic field of 21 teams, including teams from Alberta, Manitoba, Ontario, Northern Ontario, Newfoundland, Labrador, USA, Korea, Japan, and Sweden, as well as Italy, playing for a purse of $90,000 and world ranking points as part of the World Curling Tour. We welcome viewers from around the world to our streaming broadcast and hope you enjoy every single game that we are providing on YouTube via Curling Stadium. I promise to be an exciting event with some of the best teams in the world now that the playoffs have started. Uh, sheet B is our fe feature sheet this evening, and today's matchup includes Team Keen from Ontario versus Team Dunstone from Manitoba. And this is the quarterfinal uh, draw this evening. I am Charlie Robert, and I'm joined by Eric Carden, and we will be announcing teams for this draw. It's just a reminder, there is a chat space available for all those tuning in, so please feel free to access that space and interact with others that are watching the games today. Other, the, other games are also available, and f feel free to surf the different sheets of ice to find your favorite team or matchup. So sit back and enjoy as we prepare to get this game started, and we're already underway down to... Uh, Vice Rocks on Sheet B. Uh, team Dunstone uh, earned the hammer. And we have uh, Mr. Newfeld about to throw his first stone. Good evening, everyone. It's Eric Carnton. And uh, hope you enjoy the game this evening between Team Dunstone and Team First End. Well, in the first end, as Charlie had mentioned. With Team uh, Dunstone, they have lost rock advantage. Most of the players in the middle, one will only guard up front. Um, and for Team Dunstone, looking for uh, maybe a double bump here. They're on it. Yeah, they're trying to keep it straight. It's really curling. Just feathers 
the uh, sound guard rolling into the ring. I think they were pretty like uh, double bumped. Uh, they already had a shot on the block. Team Keaton has a second shot on Rock. It's getting kind of congested in there right now, so we'll see how it all unfolds. Team Keaton throwing yellow stones and Team Dunn stones throwing the green stones. And like I mentioned, Team Dunn does have a lot of rock advantage here in the first stand. Yeah, it looks like Keen's third is going to try to smash some of those rocks, clean up the front of the house there a little bit. Trying big weight here. Trying to get the rocks moving in the right direction. To get kicking. Really good shot there. He threw it very well. Had lots of weight. Uh, team Dunstone still has a shot on Rock. Team Keith has a second shot. Looks like uh, Team Dunstone is going to chase the uh, Team King second stone to the life four. Yeah, it's been Team Dunstone uh, all over uh, Team Keen this end. Got quite a few rocks in the house. If they're successful in navigating this shot, then they'll be sitting four counters, which really put the pressure on Team Keen. Trying to keep this straight, the sweeping, and a little hit and roll. Does leave a double back, sit right there. See if Mark attempts that shot right on the nose, we'll make the double. And it will sit right beside Team Dunstone's right there where the, where the broom is. They might even try to go across the top of this and get all three. We'll see. Yeah, I think he might be eyeing up that triple, Eric. Yeah. Right where the, he hits right where the broom is, he'll get the shot block, second shot, and take another one out. This could be a, a, a triple. We'll see how it all unfolds. It's going to be a lot of weight, and I would anticipate the groups going down real quick. Big shot first in for Mark. He's going to need a bit of meter. Mark Keane through on the end turn. Got to be some weight on this one. I believe looking for the triple across the top. Yeah, it looked like he popped it out a little wee bit, Eric. Yeah, he's probably going to get two of them anyways, but... Yeah, a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit wide there. The weight was great. There is a double there uh, for Mark on his next shot if it becomes available. What do you think Matt's going here, Charlie? I think he pointed to the outside 12 foot, uh, looking at down the sheet to the left hand side there. Just trying to get some separation. He'll probably concede the double to uh, Team Keen and hopefully walk away this end with his two points. So I think just a bit of separation. T line, I think, is the position A here. Yeah, for sure. It's always it's always nice giving your skipper a free draw of the host um, in this situation. Gets gives us a feel for draw weight in case he has to make uh, another draw in the second one for an, an additional point. As Charlie mentioned, they're trying to separate their, their uh, stones. Um, Matt Dunstall, draw weight. The sweeper seems to like it right now. Drawing in for three. If this is made perfectly, I would think that Mark is going to look at that shot rock and try to make a double on the one in the back eight for it. There is a guard out front. Uh, it is possible to get a roll here, too. So, whether you know the nose is taken across the top to get the roll, I'm not sure. We'll have to see what they're, what they're going to try. Yeah, the only danger of 
trying to get the hit and roll behind the guard and make the double. If you're going across the, the back one is if sometimes you go so hard for the roll that you jam the back yeah. and then you might give yourself, you know, put yourself in the peril of maybe giving up a three. Looking at the broom where it's located, I think that, uh, that Mark is playing the nose hit double or just off nose to make the double. You're right, Charlie. If you go to if you look at the cross across the top, probably it would it, it, chances are you jamming, right? Yeah, unless you roll big and we'll see how it goes here. Mark throwing it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You see the way it very nice shot. Yep. Thrown. So Team Dunstone in the first end with last rock advantage, looking for a nose hit for two points. Yeah, and I think uh, Team Keen would be pretty happy with the outcome of this end, um, especially after it, it started. There was quite a few uh, Team Dunstone rocks in the house, and if you can walk away here with just giving up a deuce in the first, I think you'd be, be thinking that's a fairly good success. Yeah, that was a big double by Mark. He threw that really, really well. I watched him as he was sliding, he was right up the stick and, uh, and you know, the big weight and the sweepers and the call, that was a complete team shot. So Team Dunstone looking for a nose hit for two in the first end. We'll see how it unfolds here. Yeah, he's probably going to throw a nice control weight and just manage it with the sweepers. Brooms are going to go down fast. Yeah. Yeah, just a nice weight. One nice thing, he has the luxury of uh, rolling a quite, a, a quite a ways from the center line and still retaining that second shot. So after the first end, Team Dunstone does uh, score two. We're going to go to the second end, and we'll be back. Thank you. experience if you work the land you got to be a jack of all trades you got to have a little bit of optimism a little bit of idealism and a whole lot of get go everyone we're in the second end there was a center up the corner team dunstone looking to draw around the, the center guard trying to make it curl really good sweeping there <laughs> looks like a freeze attempt here for mark and team keen the end turn draw 
and attempting to make the perfect freeze. Yeah, the, the key to the Dunstone uh, first rock was keeping that be, uh, in front of the T-line, which is all important here. So we a little bit of cat and mouse here. Obviously, Keen's going to try to freeze, get some angles set up. Yeah. Pretty good result. Really good, really good shot there. They've got a nice angle. And um, Team Dunstone looking for, I think, a corner freeze on the yellow rock in the four-foot circle. Yeah, I think he just wants to weld it on the corner. Sit right there. It'll somewhat protect his uh, shot rock. And then Team Keen's going to have to make a decision whether they blow up the front. If this is made uh, fairly well, I, I don't think he's going to mess around with too much gambling, especially with Hammer and the even end. Looks like it has a lot of room coming in. Out front is the center guard, and there is a corner guard. Yeah, he, he's not going to freeze to his own, but he's... Yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit of a miss for Team Dunstone. Now he's left a double back for Team Keen. I'm surprised that he doesn't actually uh, try to hit about three quarters of this rock, spin it off, and actually roll out to the wing a little bit. But he's going to try to make the double and roll inside, which probably will result in some sort of run back double for King Dunstone on the next shot. In turn, lightweight. Sweepers are on and trying to keep it straight. Yeah. Doesn't want to hit that guard out front. Really curling hard. Yeah, and they're gonna, as a result, I think they're going to raise that other green in. Both uh, rocks, both rocks on that end up uh, just biting the 12 foot, foot circle. Yeah, I think the lucky break on that shot was the Team Keen shooter rolled for fourth shot, so it forces. Uh, uh, team Dunstoke to chase it. They're not too worried about the one on the top floor because they know that Team Keen's going to have to make a play on that later. Team Dunstone throwing the out turn. It's got some weight on it. Looking for, as, as uh, Charlie had mentioned, the hit and roll to the middle somewhere. Yeah, if you get some action and push over there. Oh, look at this. <laughs> yep, just That's uh, right that's a great result. Good throw there. Threw it really well. Well done. See what Mark is thinking here in the boys. Yeah, it's going to be an, in, uh, could be an out turn. Yeah, an out turn, out turn for the lefty. Out turn for the lefty. I think he's trying <laughs> to angle his and roll around the, uh, roll behind the uh, green biter and put uh, Team Keen's uh, stone into the Dunstone stone that's shot rock. So it's curling. Yeah. yeah, he's a little tight. I think he might even push it by. Oh, just clip the back of it there. Okay, really good attempt. But I think that's what they were trying was to get the shooter in behind the corner and the, uh, and the green stone. Good attempt. Yeah, I just think uh, the last couple of shots by Team Keen, they just got caught on some of the curl. Um, it probably, moved quite a bit, eh? Yeah, yeah. That that four foot line coming in, there's, there's lots of movement. Team Dunstone playing the intern hit. They're on it right away. Yeah, he's a little tight as well. I think he's got just... Really got some rocks moving there. Team Dunstone still shot rock. Team Keen second shot, I think, yeah. Yeah, Eric, having played on uh, on the surface for the last few days, if you get any inward mo movement on, uh, on even your takeouts, 
they really take that curl. You really have to throw them clean. If not, you're going to get that uh, that break all the way down the all the way down the sheet. Okay. I think that was a bit of a case that uh, BJ got caught on. He just started that rock a little bit, and it, uh, they're tough to tough to hold. Even these world class sweepers. If you get it started, it will curl. Eh? Yep. Yeah, it's unforgiving. Team Keen on the out turn, looking for a hit and a roll, I would think. Looks like a nose. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, he's got to go big with that roll or else he's going to set up a double back, which you think he did. Okay, good throw. Good curl too, eh? There's lots of curl there. Yeah. And as the event goes on, and the way they're scraping the ice and whatnot, I think you're seeing a little bit more curl, a little bit more curl. Uh, the ice was a little bit green earlier in the week because uh, they flooded it. Team Dunstone with the uh, takeout, trying to get both Team Keen, uh, Team Keen Stones out, but stays for looks like second shot rock to me, but yeah, I think it's second, Eric. Well, if uh, Team Keen can navigate this double here, they should be sitting two after the dust settles, but this is a fresh pot. They haven't thrown at this one yet. Yeah, I was going to say, this is going to be fresh <laughs> out here. Yeah, Team Dunstone, I believe it was cold, and I think he played one hit uh, two shots ago, but that was a lot, a lot wider. Throwing the out turn hit. Nose hits fine, I think. I think it'll be a second shot. Keep an eye on the back green stone and see what happens there. They don't want to jam it there, but that's for sure. Yeah, it just had to curl up another half an inch. Good shot. Yep. Team D line two. And I think the, I think the, uh, the key to that one was it forces uh, Team Dunstone to have to make a play on it. Gonna have to play on it. I think uh, Team Dunstone will be looking for a roll, but they have to be careful with the the green stone at the uh, at the back of the rings. BJ's looking at it right now. He doesn't want to. He certainly don't want to jam it back there. But they're looking for a roll to the uh, second shot rock. I believe this was a shot rock. Out turn. Outside in. I don't think there'll be a lot of weight on this, Charlie. I don't think so, anyway. Uh, he's he's given mid, given mid ice there, so. Good for a weight. Yeah, or he's going to throw it a little softer, but just set it back out a bit, just for, so it'll run a little bit, and then just get that late finish. So they get that inside roll, and they're probably looking to roll right across, miss the one in the back. Team Dunstone, look for the brooms to go down right away. Want to keep yeah. it clean. Yeah, it's a nice control weight by the looks of it. Throwing the out turn. Yeah, it's a little bit of late curl. We're looking for a roll. Easy. Oh, I think they got caught on that uh, that curl again. They they had the uh, curl sweeper on it for about ten strokes, and that's all it takes. Good attempt there. Rolled in the uh, direction they wanted to, just rolled too far. Team Keen still has shot rock. Team Dunstone the second. So what do you think, Eric? He's going to go around that corner, right? Eh? Could go around the corner. There's the yellow green out front. Draw around there. I would. They don't want to. I, I think the A position would obviously try and get him buried, but uh, maybe full eight foot. Uh, I think that would be position A there for them. Don't want to go too deep. No. Some teams would even just curl to the uh, the other side of the house in front of the green at the back here, you just could. to set up a yeah, just to set up a uh, a deuce that way, just separating the rocks. But if he makes a good one on here, you always you potentially put a three in play if uh, Team Sun's put to make a perfect shot at the last. I like this call. You gotta get by the green rock first. That's 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 for sure. Get the proper weight, and uh, you don't want to you don't want to feather tick the, the green rock. So make sure that you're by first. 
on the sweepers. They should make sure that they're by first. Then they can make it curl. It should curl late. So Mark with the out turn. Open he's, out there, he's out there a little bit. Once he gets the line, it should start bending, but he looks at maybe a tad full on the weight, so it's just riding. Yeah, this is probably yeah, that. That's the difference right there. Just five feet of different weight, and it just didn't want to move. Yeah, yeah, just a little, a little heavy, and it didn't, it didn't make the move that they were looking for. I think the ice call was perfect. Just a little less weight for Mark, and he would have been good. Good attempt. See what happens here. I would think Team Dunstone is looking for a slash double. They're not worried about the shooter. They're just trying to get both yellow rocks. So we'll see what happens here. Um, Team Dunstone throwing the out turn. It was a good try by Mark there. He's just a little bit heavy, but I think the ice, the ice call was perfect. And I like the shot selection there too. So Matt Dunstone is running the out there. You could be some weight on this. Playing the slash. We jammed it, but got away with it. But uh, Team Keen's going to have to just top this one back for a deuce, I believe. Dunstone with Sean Rock, Team King with second, Sean Rock. So Mark's looking at an outturn, probably fairly quiet, waiting for him to sit there for two to tie the game up, up after two ends. I think maybe a control weight, a good control solid weight, um, is what Mark is going to try here with this outturn. Here again, look for the bruise to go down quick. Keep it clean early. You want to keep that rock early. You get it early and make sure that it's going to have a nice run down the, down the sheet. So, Team Keen, you're on the other hand, two points, trying to tie the game up after two hands. Really good shot there by Team Keen. So after the wins, we're all tied up 2 2. And uh, we'll be back. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. At Coyote, we know that when the weekend rolls around, you have two choices, kick up your feet or kick up some dirt. If only all decisions would be so easy. Coyote, we dig dirt. We're for agriculture, for growers, doers, whatever it takers. We're for doing things with purpose. We're for the little guy with big guy dreams. We're for agriculture. We're for you. Nutrien Ag Solutions, leading the field. An iron horse leads you north. A wooded canyon draws you in. Where am I?
Uh, welcome back to the uh, Sukurs Fall Classic. We are now into uh, end number three. We have uh, Team Keen and Team Dunstone all knotted up at two two points apiece here. So we're on to uh, third stone at the end. Uh, Ryan Harnden drew one around the center guard, and uh, Team Keen responded with a freeze on top of it. So both teams looking to go all out offense again this end. It's nice to see lots of rocks in play over the last two ends of the arc. Yeah, for sure. Um, the center guard was put up and then uh, and then we've got two rocks frozen in the forefoot. I think the call here, Charlie, is the freeze again. Yeah, I think they just want to come right down on top of that again and just keep Christmas treeing them up. Looks pretty good. Yep, yeah, it's a slight bump in the back, and yeah, it's, uh, that's well played. So we got a lonely center guard out there, and three, it's going to get congested with the team uh, <laughs> looking for the freeze again. So it'll be Team Dunstone with a shot rock, Team Keen with second shot, Team Dunstone with third. If this is made perfectly, it'll be lining everything up here yeah, and i think if they make this one i think it's safe to say that colton law will be throwing some heat down that center this one's moving they're trying to keep it straight yeah i don't think he's going to get a buyer just going to split that off a little bit good attempt there just the, the weight was down a little bit yeah i think regardless i think this was going to be a shot being called by team dunstone they we're going to let that situation play out until they can smash that front. Team, Dun, uh, Team Dunstone looking for the peel weight to clean the, to make a, a double, I would think here, Charlie, and roll out of play. It should scoot straight sideways. Yeah, unless you double crotch and just actually have the shot rock uh, spit forward and keep in play. Oh, or to a corner. There it goes there. Good shot yeah. there by Team Team Deadstone. Yeah, you got it all. Mark's thinking. Team Deadstone with the hammer here. Last rock advantage. See what Mark decides to do here. It is lined up. The uh, the team at this point, the team uh, uh, Keen uh, Rock's in a pretty good position. Maybe they'll eliminate Shot Rock and stay right right there on the nose. I see the hospitality area on the on Ace Bar is popping tonight. Lots of patrons out there having some cold beverages by Northern Superior. So Team Keen with the head and the roll. Good attempt. I think they were looking for a nose there, but they did get the shot stone. And I think uh, Team Dunstone's going to pretty much do a repeat of last end, hit the one out on the wing stick there and then if your team keen you have to chase that because you can't just leave it sitting there and, and then you just gonna say then you got uh, you always have that play up the middle that's always there for you so yeah yeah team dunstone on the intern looking for a hit and a roll i believe yeah this is really curling out there must have got that fresh frost Yeah, I think now that he's shot, eh? I think that's why he's decided, elected to go with the center guard now. That rollout was huge and as far as strategy goes for Team Keen here. Had they stuck that, he would have to do go for the chase. Now he's, now he's going back on the offense with, a, with the guard out front. Hopefully waste a couple of Dunstone rocks. Team Keen with the intern here looking for the guard. Looking to guard the green and the shot rock. 
Yellowstone belongs to Team Key. Yeah, we looks good. Looks like the boys like it. You always like when they're off and on a little bit. They're trying to make a curl here. There they go. Yeah, maybe it can be a little bit tighter than they wanted to, but mission accomplished. Very nice shot. Very, uh, that was well thrown, well swept, well called. Play team shot, well done. Team Dunstone looking to remove the Team Keen Yellowstone. I think with that ice call, they're looking to roll into the 12 foot. So quiet wait here. At this point, they're trying to keep it straight. Just didn't get the angle on the the, sh or the shooter there. Just hit it a little, little bit thick, caused it to roll a little flatter. Pretty good shot there. They did get a corner guard <clears> out of it. <throat> Keep an eye on that rock for future use. Team Keen looking to looking for a center guard again. It's really the intern. Boys are keeping it clean. They don't want anything. Want the rock to catch anything here? They seem to like it. Line looks really, really good. Yeah, maybe just a tad deep in the last one. Yeah, so right at the very end, they get that late finish, so it still opened up the one side of the uh, Dunstone Stone. But uh, I think they're just going to chase this guard in here. I don't think they're going to go after the stuff in the house, but. Unless they try that same shot, hit that guard, and try to roll their shooter on. But getting kind of late in the end. Of, oh, that's what he's calling. In turn, Team Dunstall, lightweight. I think the plan is to remove the team, team uh, stone and roll into the 12 foot, like they attempted on the, on the last shot. We'll see how it unfolds here. Yeah, it's trying to make it curl, they might have just hit a tad too thin. Good shot there, it does open up the front, so I would anticipate Mark. Charlie, what do you think, same shot? Yeah, I think they're going to go to the well again, throw another one up, um, and then just see what uh, Team Dunstone, how they're going to counter on their next one. The uh, Team Keen shot is right on the button with that Team Dunstone stone uh, guard, guarding it, quote, unquote. So even if uh, Team Dunstone decides to ignore the guard, it's going to be pretty hard to score there. So you're going to see them probably pound that into the pile at some point here. So I don't think uh, uh, Keen wants to get his guard too, too deep here. Probably looking for about three or four feet outside the house, I would imagine. I think that would be ideal. You don't want to leave it out too far. Yeah, and then, and conversely, you don't want it sliding in too tight either, because then you just know he's going to probably play some sort of a high, hard run back. And... So Mark Keane and team are looking for the guard on the intern. Yeah, he's got his broom actually. Uh, on the ice, they're pointing fairly tight to the house, so they're going to try to bring it just outside the rings. It's looking pretty good. Needs some late finish here, though. Yeah. Good shot there by Mark. Be interesting to see what uh, Matt and, and Team Dunstone are going to do. Yeah, they got a couple of options. They could come down soft, try to bump it back a little bit, or they could split their own off the top of the forefoot. Uh, and, and, and get some separation on those two rocks because if you're Team Keen, you're either going to have to come down and freeze to your own, which is pretty risky, or you got to get run, rid of one of the Dunstone counters. So, so there so are options here, Charlie, is what you're saying. They could, if they try to, to come to their own rock, they could split it, or if they get really good line, they can play the bump bump, or yeah. they can play a run back. And I think that's what we're seeing here. Yeah, that's what I 
mentioned prior to that lap shot, if he does come in tight, you're probably going to see something run into the pile. And, if, I mean, Matt Dunstone, he, he lives on these shots, so I would uh, anticipate that he's going to be pretty close on this. Let's see how it goes. Third end, uh, Team Dunstone, Skip Rocks, first Skip Rock. Playing the run back on the intern. Here again, brooms go down quick, keep it clean. You always want these rocks to get started on a nice line. And uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, he's pretty close. Pretty close. There it is. So if, he didn't remove the keen stone, but he got it off the forefoot. And I think he was pretty happy with that. It wasn't quite the result they were looking for, but nonetheless, it gets it off the forefoot and gets him a chance to score. True enough, it was right on the button, so good shot there by Matt. Could be a force here. I think Mark is, uh, he wants to get these rocks in a good position where there's no double. Looks like he's throwing the out turn. Yeah, I think he's just going to go uh, to the other side of the house, probably T-line, and force Matt to take one point. And then he'll have Hammer in the even end coming home. There are two corner guards out there. We'll see if, um, see what uh, Mark does here. July 2, trying to get a force here, at least uh, on the out turn Mark, Mark is throwing. I see where the probe's tapping there now. They want it at the back. On yeah. The, yeah, so that there is no double. You can see the broom there. Boy, lots of curl there for sure. Oh, yeah. Wow, there we go. Really good shot there, Charlie. Yep, that's uh, pretty much perfect. So we're forcing our position to uh, take one point. Mission accomplished. Uh, giving... Uh, Team Keen the hammer if they are successful in uh, hitting and sticking on this one, which I would imagine is going to do. Another team shot there. Good sweeping, well thrown by Mark, and good call by the by the whole team. Well done. In turn for Matt Dunstone and Team Dunstone. No set is what they're looking for. It'll be a force. he does hit and roll out, it'd be a steal for Team Keen. In the third end, tied 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> this one's really moving too. But, well managed. Good news hit. Good shot there. So one point for Team Dunstone. After three ends, 3-2 three to two for Team Dunstone. Team Keen will have the hammer. We'll be back, folks. Thank you. We lost part of our forest to fire several years ago. We decided to stay and help it recover. People who have heavy machinery have the opportunity to reach out and help their neighbors for the common good. When your people are ready, your business is ready. Cintas makes sure they have what they need to perform their best.
Uh, welcome back to the fourth end of the game between Team Keen and Team Dunstone. We're in a two, or excuse me, a three-two game, uh, game with Team Dunstone having been forced for winning point the last end. A couple of guards out front. It was a, a guard out front and a corner guard for uh, Team Keen, and then uh, a guard out come up light. Team Dunstone. The rocks are staggered. Nice shot there. Completely buried. I think looking for a freeze here, Charlie, on, on the outturn. Yeah, he just wants to lock this one on to the top third of that stone. It's in the top four. And... 3 2 fourth and Team Keen does have last rock advantage here. Team Dunstone on the out turn, looking for a corner freeze on the shot stone behind the stagger guards out front. Uh, the stone looks to be sliding a little bit. The, there's a little bit of curl, but it's starting to come down a little bit. It doesn't want to chop off too hard. It's not too bad. It's about uh, three quarters buried. Mark likes the freeze. Out turn. Sorry, in turn. And make uh, they want to make sure they get past the, the center guards first. Once they pass the center guards, then they may try to get some curl out of it. They do have shot rock. Team Dunstone was second shot rock. Yeah, so another lefty intern coming down at you. Boys seem to like it. It looks like it needs to curl, though. Yeah, maybe a touch heavy. I think he's going to chop off a little bit, but that's, uh, that's danger now. A little bit heavy. Had the right idea. Yeah. I think maybe... Uh, it was the previous shot warmed up that line a little bit, so it was awfully quick. Mm -hmm. Are they looking to just play soft here, Eric? Or are they trying to hit the inside quarter of that rock and get a little bit of action going? Outturn, outturn with quiet weight. I think they're looking for a hit and roll inside. Okay. Uh, team Keen have shot rock, so trying to get the angle on the roll. I think they need to get this to curl, but it does look pretty good. Good shot there, Charlie. Yeah, it looks like they were uh, successful in bumping their own stone up a shot, I believe, eh? I hope we don't have an overhead, but it looks pretty close. Pretty close there. Mark's going to ask for a peel weight. Hope they're hoping for a double and uh, clean things up out there a little bit. Lots of weight here. Looking pretty good. Yeah, he got rid of the two counters. Uh, unfortunate, he stuck his own uh, shooter and kept the center line uh, guard up. So, good attempt there. Yep. Made the double. The shooter didn't stay, but it is uh, Team Keen's rock. He might be able to use it, but it is guarding the the two uh, Dunstone rocks. In the, in the uh, just well in the fourth well just touching the button touching the forefoot. Yeah. So Matt's going to ask BJ to come down and hit that yellow stone. And I'm thinking they want to roll away. I don't, they don't want to sit, sit right there. I agree. I think Charlie they're going to roll away. They're trying to roll away here. But Team Dunstone throwing the intern, looking for the hit and roll away from the shot rocks. Yeah, I don't know if this picks something or. He just caught a curly spot there, but they hammered that right out of his hand. Yeah, it looks like they're getting caught in a little bit of curl. I wonder if DJ has got a rock that's uh, possibly moving a little bit more. I've noticed at least two of his other rocks have been curled. Certainly possible. Mm -hmm. And they'll, they will set that up that way to have a rock that will cut a little bit more if yeah. they have 
the option to uh, pick one in the set. Um, so maybe perhaps they can use that stone and he's just getting a little bit more movement. Yeah. Maybe something to look at later on in the game. Quite possible. Team Keane on the end turn looking for the nose hit. On it right away. Yeah, he's going to get something back there. Yeah, he got one and he rolled it behind uh, the corner there. So good, good result there. Yeah, good shot there. Well thrown. Good call by Mark. Good sweeping. Good team shot there. It is uh, the team keen. Rock is buried behind that corner, Charlie. So. Yeah, I think you're going to. I think you're going to see Matt try to make some sort of a play on his own stones here. I don't think he's going to chase that one in the corner. He just wants to maybe get these stones on the forefoot, maybe moved around a little wee bit. Because right now, I think more than anything, he just wants to force Team Keen into one point just so they were forced last end. It's more about the force than the steel, I think. Yeah. Looks like they've chosen the guard. Yeah, they're going to leave uh, Team King with that out turn hit on their own rock on the edge of the uh, forefoot, but they're they'd be satisfied with throwing the guard up on the one at the center. So Team Dunstone looking for a guard out front. I think like Charlie was, was thinking here, they'll leave the, the other rock open. They're probably thinking if Mark and Team King come down, they can play on a roll behind the T-line, it wouldn't be available to freeze to. Really working this hard, though. Good sweeping there. Yep. A little longer than they wanted, I think, but it, it gets the job done. Mark should, I think Mark is going to chase this other one that's open. Yeah, and I think if, I think the, the thought process for Team Dunstone was leave this shot open. If Team Keen makes a play, gets that hit and flip inside, they just come down and freeze on top of it really shutting down that scoring area and forcing Team Keen at one point. It would yeah. be very difficult to get two out of it unless they make some uh, shot that we're not seeing right now. Or We'll see here too. Mark, I think, is thinking about a run back. Which is yeah, a... he doesn't really like that, that uh, center guard. keeps sticking around. I, I, I do like this call. If he uh, gets it on an angle, it gets to either, either rock, maybe the one at the top four. He can roll a shooter, stick it there. Or stick it on the other one. We'll see what happens here. It's gonna have yeah, gonna have some weight on it on the out turn. Yeah, he's got a couple options on this one. He can get either either stone or make the double if he hits it right in the crotch. Oh, a little unfortunate there, but still stuck one of his own around. Still pretty good shot. Still, I think they're still Charlie. I think they're still pretty well buried. Maybe open a little. Dead, but boy oh boy that would be tough yeah now team dunstone's got a decision here to make that was a good attempt there yeah absolutely you can see where where uh matt put the broom that's how much of the rock you can see just a little bit mm -hmm. like maybe charlie but maybe a, an inch that's about it i think you can see Cooper no, no, down there, kind of look, giving up a, a view from the hack. He's kind of, the, he can see better when, you, when you're in the hack, you can see better on how much you can see of that rock. He did relay that information be, between the two of them back and forth. Yeah, and they, the other option that they have is they uh, quickly pointed out they were trying to maybe look at putting one uh, just top four buried around their own center line guard, but that guard is so long that I don't know if it's going to do much at this point. Yeah, it is a long guard. Yeah, it looks like they're going to go for the chase on that yellow one. It's a tricky shot here because it's going to hold for a while and then it's going to break. So There is a plan B. The, the one thing you don't want to do on this shot is obviously you don't want to breeze it by and miss everything. If you do feather tick that corner guard out there, Look for the guys to get a roll and try to get a guard on their shot rock. That would work too, but we'll see. It is the one thing you, you don't want to do is breeze it by, right, Charlie? You don't want to do that. But if you feather tick, 
the plan B is the feather took that guard and roll over for that guard your shot stone. It is shot stone, yeah. See yeah, how what sure. happens here. Now this would be an interesting spot. We really haven't played uh, any rocks down this spot in the ice. So. Team Dunstone on the out turn, chasing the team Keaton Rock in behind the corner guard. Looking for some curl now. Yeah, it just didn't finish up. Uh, for them, I think he was. I think he was worried he was going to curl there. I, I saw in his release, he set it back a little bit, just to straighten it out a little bit, and it just didn't finish as hard as they thought it would. One nice thing though is they kicked it out into the open, so if they uh, get an error on the team keen, then that other one will be open. It's a good attempt. I think it was just a little heavier than what they want, and it did run straight. Like Charlie mentioned, they did get it to the open, but the shooter rolled out, so. Mark has chosen the out turn here in, in the fourth end. Skip rocks now. Team Dunstone up 3-2. Fourth end. Team Keen with a hammer. Mark looking for a nose hit here to light two. Keane, Team Keane, out turn, looking for the nose hit. Brooms are down early, which is always nice. Yeah. I think it's a good, very good shot. Little roll. There is a center guard there, boy, but it's out. It's out far, Charlie, right? Yeah, it's almost unusable. I think anywhere that uh, Team Dunstone it's their shooter after they hit the stone it's going to be a gettable stone the only thing they can possibly do is roll big as uh, matt was just tapping his broom over if they get it right over behind that corner guard, corner guard yeah i just i think if they if they try to get it talked it's not going to be shot so they're to be open yeah i believe so center guard is out quite far we'll see what uh, what they're playing here if they're going for the hit and roll behind the center guard or if they're going to try to roll way over behind the corner guard yeah they could roll actually uh to the left and behind that other corner guard and still be shot rock yeah but they didn't yeah they didn't even look at that so it's quiet wait out turn team dunstone Looking for some curl now. Looks like a nose hit. Okay, good try. I think that was a little more weight than what they were looking for, but good attempt there. I think the team uh, Dunstone were, look, uh, were looking for the roll. They just didn't get it. So fourth end, team Dunstone up 3-2. This is... Uh, Final rock in the end for Team Keen. Nose hit for two. Yeah, well played uh, end for Team Keen. Yep. Uh, they, they started out of the gate really aggressive. Made a couple of good freezes. Uh, a couple of uh, forced errors for Team Dunstone. And the result in a score of two here if he makes the nose hit. Mark on the out turn. Keeping it clean quickly, always a good thing. Yeah, it looks like he may have got this turned over a little bit. They're scrubbing it hard. Oh, he, he softened up his release and his weight a little bit. He wanted to make sure he stuck around, and he paid the price on that curly spot there. Steal of one for Team Dunstone. After four ends, we'll be going to the fifth then. We'll be back, folks. 
Thank you. I've been raised on the farm since day one, so I was born into it. My grandfather came in here in 1905. I want to continue the farm for him and generations to come. So. I think it's a privilege that we get to be here. It's just a wonderful way of life. You know, what job is there that you can go to work with your dad and brother? Welcome back for the fifth end action here. I'll see if I can update you on some other games. Uh, Team Howard is up 4-1, playing the Fourth end. Team Ritana. Return is. <laughs> They're up in their game playing the fourth end, five to zero. And Tanner Horgan. Three blank ends. Just zeros on the board in the fourth end. that action here we've got a center guard one very behind the center guard and a corner guard team key looking for i believe charlie freeze on the shot rock yeah the back to the freeze game here uh after that missed opportunity last end uh, i think team keen is going to try to go all out to get at least a deuce on this end just to try to make up for it now that they're down two for this tough dunstone team so so just got to keep it the plan don't rush it. Great shot by their front end player there. Really stuck that one on there. Really nice shot there. Well well done. So Team Dunstone looking to duplicate the freeze. And freeze to the Team Keenstone at the 8 foot. Center guard, corner guard. Each team with rocks in the four foot and the eight foot and team not stone looking for a freeze. Yeah, I, we're going to see Team Dunstone keep applying the pressure now. They have a two point lead. They're not going to start uh, playing defensive. Try to force Team Keen to one point this end. Uh, get that hammer back in the even ends. They're feel, feeling pretty good with themselves after getting a lucky break there back in uh, the uh, fourth end on the keen miss on his last stone. So 
little hop in their step coming forward here. Mark looking for maybe a hit and roll behind that corner. They do, uh, uh, Team Dunstone does have the last rock advantage in this end. Team King Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Team, uh, yeah. yeah, they have. That was just first in him, I guess. Sorry about that. Yeah. That's yeah. why Mark wants the hit and go behind the corner here right? because they put it there. I'll be okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the graphics aren't keeping up with our commentary here. It's not your fault. Out turn, hit and roll behind the corner. Yeah, it looks a little bit tight here. I think he's going to end up rubbing that guard. I don't know if he can get it by. He's really scrubbing it, but it hit that uh, break point in the ice. Oh, just got it by. Great shot. Great shot there. Really good sweeping. Yeah, they scrubbed that one. Just snuck her by. Great, good shot there. But they didn't get behind the corner, but that's okay. He threw it well. Yeah, it's nice to have those young horses up front just pounding those. That was uh, really good sweeping. <laughs> yeah, pounding those rocks down there, especially on a surface like this with that late finish. If you can get uh, that head pressure and speed down on that ice, it's going to keep it straight. It looked like it was going to be on the guard, but excellent sweeping there. Team Dunstone looking for a hit on hit and roll. No set, I think, is fine too. Maybe a little roll. Matt. Yeah, they kind of switch gears maybe a little bit there, go a little bit thinner. They're trying to hit, I think, a tad thicker. And decide at the last minute, maybe go a little bit thin and roll that shooter into the, into the house uh, further from the center line. Good shot on the hit and roll there. See what Mark's going to play here. Yeah, his first indication was hitting that uh, stone that uh, Team Dunstone just put into the house. But I think he wants to hit and roll in. Uh, and if he does make it, it, I don't know if it's really looked at the jam in the back, but it will jam that back one if he makes the inside roll. So uh, I don't know if he's too upset about that happening, but just wants to get his shots, uh, the uh, thrown rock into the house in a favorable position up front there. Team Keen on the end turn, looking for the hit and roll. See what happens on that back green rock. I don't think he's going to get to the inside. I think, if anything, he's nose, eh? Close to a double. Not quite. Nose hit. Yep, Charlie, it was nose hit. Good throw mm -hmm. there. Yeah, unfortunate. I think it's leaving the angle for, uh, for Team Dunstone to make the double now. I don't know if it'll clear that back. Uh, green, stone or green rock or not. It's, it's a little bit steep. See what happens. Looks like an end turn think intern hit see if they go for the double you got to be aware of the the green stone at the back eight foot a lot of weight here I'm trying to make it a curl uh oh now you hit it probably about as thin as you can hit it set that rock right sideways out of the house A lot of weight there didn't move. Yeah, I wonder if that's a bit of a product of a couple of rocks that uh, DJ has thrown. It was actually a little bit curled on that one there. Obviously, it didn't curl enough, so. Maybe, eh? Yeah. He has had some rocks that have curled, so. Yeah, it could be just release. Maybe he was getting them going a little bit early, and now he's kind of figured it out, and they're just not hasting appropriately. But uh, whatever the case there, that one ran fairly straight. Team Keen on the out turn, looking for the nose hit. They're pretty good with shot rock. It's not completely buried, but it's uh, it's in the forefoot for shot. Nice shot there. Team Keen line two. Fifth end. Matt's thinking maybe a hit and roll. Rolls behind the corner. I don't think he's going to be shot. So maybe like a nose hit. In turn, quiet wait. Got to get by the guard first, and then make it. Try to make it curl anyway. After you, but you have to be by the guard first.
They're working on this one hard. They should get uh, a sufficient amount of it just to roll. A roll too far. Yeah, they just rolled a little bit too far. Good attempt there. Hit and roll behind the corner. It is second shot. It does give Mark and Team Keen the uh, corner freeze to lie two. If he didn't make some corner freeze here, it would be very difficult to remove. I think Team Benz don't have to go after the shot rock. Out turn. Uh, Keep with the out turn. Sweeping her hard here. It's early. Oh, just touched the guard. Yeah, just straightened it out a little wee bit there. Okay. Just an update uh, for the viewers on YouTube. To understand there's a bit of a mic echo on Eric's uh, mic. They are actively uh, working on rectifying that for you. So. Team Keen attempted the, uh, I think it was a freezer, maybe a little bump there, and they just feather ticked the corner guard and did, did touch um, the Team Dunstone rock also. Good attempt, er, good shot there. They're like Team Keen line two. So, and they're in a pretty good position. They're, the, the rocks are separated, and they're not uh, grouped together. So, Team Dunstone looking for the hit and roll, I believe, Charlie, around the center guard yeah I don't think there's uh, enough room or excuse me fairly flat there's no double there so I think they're just going to try to hit and roll this one to the center or try to maybe get it close to the other yellow as one as they can but... team, team Dunsko look at the roll yep. That roll looks pretty good. Good shot there. Good sleeping. Nice call. Good shot. Mark's going They would like to lie two. It is the fifth in. Down two. In turn. Nice shot here. They're lying two. Looking for Mark to a good shot here. Yeah, I think he's just going to try to come down to this with some soft weight. I don't think he's trying to freeze. Just a bump back. Uh, stay buried unless he's trying to roll to the right a little bit as we look down on the sheet. So this doesn't want to set up any sort of double. If he lays right there, you'll probably see Team Dunstone just come down and freeze to it if it's wide open, or they might just elect to go and hit the open uh, stone and concede two points. So I think Mark would be looking for a little roll here, Charlie. Not inside, but outside. Yeah, I think he wants to uh, roll to the open. If he goes underneath, uh, yeah. like I said, I don't think Team Dunstone would take on the freeze. I think they just hit the open one. Shot rock is behind the tail line, right? Boys are on. That looks pretty good. Good shot there from Mark. Team Keen. Line two.
fifth end. Team Dunstone up 4 2. Team Keen has last rock here. Lion 2. Matt's going to throw the end turn. I think this is going to have some weight on. The broom is right in the middle of the rock. Looking for the double, Charlie? I don't know if it is it. I, yeah, I didn't uh, really get a good look at the overhead. I'm not sure what the angle looks like. You might just be trying to hit and roll back underneath there. Um, just to make... Uh, oh, he's coming down with some heat, so he must think the flat double's there. Team Dunstone looking for, on the intern, looking for a hit and roll, maybe a, a double or roll over there. That's pretty good. Good shot. Shot rock yeah. is Team Dunstone. Second ro uh, shot rock is Team Keen. So this is a nose hit for two, Charlie? Yeah, I believe so. Yep, it will be uh, a score of two if he can. Out turn. <laughs> yep, hit this on the nose. He's good. Uh, that last uh, rock by, by Dunstone, he was one inch away from perfection just to kick that uh, yellow rock the third shot just just needed to grow a little bit more what a great effort that that, uh, that big weight is such a weapon mark keen on the out turn for team keen no set for two points to tie the game up after five ends yeah, so that's two consecutive ends that Team Keen has had a wide open hit for uh, Deuce here. And, and, uh, really nice on throw. This one. That, was yeah. re I w that was a really nice throw for two points. So after five ends, 4-4, four, four, we'll be going to the sixth end, folks. See you in a little bit. Thank you. Uh, yeah. experience if you work the land you got to be a jack of all trades you got to have a little bit of optimism a little bit of idealism and a whole lot of get go everyone back welcome back to the sixth end of action here really good game 4-4 four, four. team dunstone in the sixth end having the hammer their last rock advantage what it there's a center guard up and rock in the 12 foot circle mark indicating an intern hit looking for the roll i would think behind the uh, center guard In turn, sorry, out turn. Team Keen on the hit, looking for a roll. Got the hit and roll to the other side, Charlie. Yeah, good shot by uh, Team Keen's uh, player there. Uh, another lefty with the out turn mission accomplished but you're going to see team dunstone ignore that shot rock and draw one behind that uh, that guard we're going to now that they have hammer in the even end i think you're going to see them put the pedal down here try to score multiple 
Out turn draw. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about putting the pressure on the opposition now. We're into the sixth end. Only two ends or three ends, including this one to play. A close game. Nice weight there. Rock is open. Yeah, Mark's looking for his player just to come down, back eight foot weight, pump that green sunstone counter just in the back of the uh, eight foot and keep his rock in that top uh, four foot uh, uh, control position. Intern here for Team Keen. Quiet wait. Yeah, they like it. Trying to make it curl now. Uh, great shot. Uh, just what he called. Just back eight foot. Very nice shot. Yep. Nice weight control there. I would think that Team Dunstone is looking for a quiet weight removal of the Team Keenstone at a little roll, maybe. Yeah, he just wants uh, the shooter to end up in front of the other stone. As indicated, he just kind of tapped anywhere in front of the other stone. Is, uh, here just to get it off that center. Team Dunstone, quiet wait, looking for a roll. Tie game, well played game. Yep. Looks pretty good. Yep. Yeah, it looks really good. We'd really like to get that flip to the outside uh, a little bit. We'd probably prefer it uh, to roll a little bit harder. I don't know if there's a double there now or not. Be tight. I think if he just gets by the front center one, he can probably pick out the back uh, uh, green one. It looks like he's going to throw about a control weight hit on this. Out turn for Team Keen, or sorry, in turn for Team Keen. <laughs> See where Mark's got the broom there. Take out hit, or uh, take out weight here. I think, like Charlie mentioned, Looking for a nose hit, they're hoping to clip, maybe clip the one at the back also. Yeah, this one here is just hanging out on them a little bit. They they had the straight sweeper on it uh, uh, for about a third of the way down the sheet there. I don't know if they thought it was going to finish harder or maybe that he was a little bit down on his weight and it just didn't finish up. Good attempt there. It just didn't curl. Looking for a hit and roll here, I think, too, for Team Dunstone. Yeah, now that he's got that uh, second shot in the back, you're going to see him now try to go to the center. I don't think he wants to bury it too much. Maybe show a half of it. Because if he buries in there, you know that Team Keen's just going to end up lobbing one on top of it. And it would be behind the T line, I think. Yeah, yeah, with this one here, just, just beyond the T-line, anything on the inside would be behind the T-line. That was a great shot. Obviously, it gives Team Keen a double back here. We're not too concerned about trying to uh, hit and roll underneath. So I just want to get rid of those two rocks after scoring the reduce last end. The last thing we want to do is give up a deuce this end. So. I think you'll just see him, that double sit right there. Even they could still make the double and hit... Uh, with this rock and roll to the outside a little bit. Got the broom right in the middle of the rock, so there's going to be some weight on this one. Out turn. Team Keen looking for the double or a hit roll. See what happens here. Lots of rotation there. Yeah, it's close. He's off and on it. It's like a pretty good shot. Oh, it took a late curl, though. Yeah, I think uh, I think halfway down the sheet, uh, the boys had uh, called an audible there. Uh, the thrower was screaming to sweep it, and Mark decided to not sweep it and try to get the inside roll because I think he gave up on the double. I don't know if they picked or not because I saw a Team Dunstone player go down the ace and pick something up there. So they might have picked something and started to curl. Team Dunstone on the out turn, looking for a hit and roll. They'd like to roll way over to the back 12 foot, I would believe. Really got a curl though. Yeah, this one here's uh, 
hanging out on him a little bit. Hey, interesting. PJ's had some stones that have stayed straight and some stones that have curled, so I don't know if they're a little, maybe a little bit miffed on, uh, on uh, what rock he's throwing there, or maybe it's just a bit of a release. It's just not quite as crisp as it usually is, but it's uncharacteristically that he's been really went, out as much as it is. Yeah, it really went straight. Team Keen on the out turn. Looking for a nose hit. Tie game, 4-4, sixth end. Good shot there. That's what they were looking for. Well done. Yeah, no, I think you're going to see uh, Team Dunstone draw now. They're going to ignore that rock in the back. It's inconsequential to them, and they'll just want to try to get one top four unless they're looking at maybe blanking this in now. We're at third stones. See what they do. Could yeah. hit the back one, or like Charlie had mentioned, there's a center guard you can draw around. Yeah, it depends how aggressive you want to be here. I mean, it is the even end. If you think you can get your two by making the perfect uh, draw, um, I, th I think you, I think you go for it here. And it looks like they already top top four. Out turn, draw weight, looking for I would say top four foot. Team Dunstone. Yeah, if he makes this perfect, um, I think you'll probably see uh, Team Keen try the run back on it. So it's really hanging out there. It's not. Uh, it's way out there. I think they're going to take it back for a freeze. Not going to go that far, though. Just didn't get yeah. the girl. Well, that really finished. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did finish, but still, he, he missed that guard for, by about two feet. So it's two in a row that under four from. Boy, that was way, way out there, and the, the finish was really late. It was going sideways. It is open for Team Keen, though. Yeah. So this will be Mark's first shot in the sixth end here, tie game. Yeah, and I think about three quarters of it is buried, eh? Yeah, I, I, it was way, like I say, it was way out, out there, and it just took a real good curl. Yeah, it's either three quarters of the hop there, so he, by that indication of the ice, he's probably throwing a control waiter down there. It's Mark Keane for Team Keane, throwing the out turn, looking. Yeah, his is staying out there, too. To remove the uh, Team Dunstone. Wow. That's uh, that's three rocks in a row there if it didn't uh, finish. I wonder if there's a bit of a straight spot down that one line. Definitely not what uh, Mark was looking for. No, the unfortunate part of that was he... Straight, eh? Not, not only did he miss the shot rock, but he picked out his own in the back, so... That was a bad uh, break. Did, yeah, Team Dunstone can really put the hammer down here if they can freeze another one on top of their shot stone. Uh, you'll probably see uh, uh, Marquine attempt to the, the run back to try to at least remove one, and if not both, if he offsets these, but I think Dunstone's in a great position with the uh, house being open now. You can see there what, uh, what they're looking for. Definitely an out turn come around. Looking to freeze it on their own rock, on the shot rock, or maybe just a little bit in front, but there is a Team Keen uh, center guard that can be run back if this is made really well. We'll see what unfolds as the, as the end goes on here. Yeah, I think you're gonna, I think the ideal shot here is to come around that center guard and just uh, over bury it on the other side of that green one, and then if it takes away any kind of a double. Matt Dunstone on the out turn. Looking for a draw around cover. Yeah, let's take a, keep an eye on this spot here. They, there's been uh, three stones in a row that didn't finish very hard there, so. It's been running straight early and then really breaking late. 
see what happens here. It's way out there. Yeah, another one, it's just, well, it's starting to go there now. I think it's just weight dependent. This one here still, it's not quite getting where they want it, but oh, that one got a little extra finish. There is some separation between the two. That's why they, yeah. I don't think they wanted the freeze because if it was open a little bit, then Mark and, and, and team could uh, probably make a, a double of some sort, but they may yeah, be attempting this. Can they see yeah. enough of that, Charlie, to make the double? I think so. Yeah, I think if he uh, just feathers that, uh, that top uh, guard, I think he can get enough to make the double. There is a little separation there. Not much, though. Yeah, that's why he has to, he has to hit this. Or excuse me, he has to get by that guard as tight as he can to make this one here. But the, the one thing you don't want to do here is throw it so tight that you crash the guard and then you give up a deuce here. Or excuse me, give up a three ball. If anything, you want to miss the guard and at least pick out one rock and give up a deuce. That that would be the, uh, the caveat of, of not hitting that guard. So. Agreed, yeah, for sure. They're yeah. going to have to scare that center guard, though. Yeah. Out yeah, turn, yeah. Team Keen looking for a double. Yeah. Good throw there. Good attempt by Mark and the team. Yeah, if you get uh, super aggressive there and you end up just touching that guard, you're, you're giving up three in the sixth. Yeah, I agree with you. It was a, a good throw by Mark. And uh, like Charlie mentioned, certainly didn't want to crash the center guard. Then it's you're giving up three. That, that was a good shot. Yeah. Threw well. Yeah, and he's still got a small piece of it. Yep. He just had to curl up another inch, and he probably makes it. Yeah, he was close. So sixth end, tie game, 4-4. Four, four. Last rock advantage for Team Dunstone. Looking for two points anywhere in the paint. Look for the brooms to go down real fast here. You want to get these the uh, the, the stone clean early so that the, the, the game plan is to make the shot get the rooms down early. Yeah, they look like they're not too concerned about the weight at this point, just kind of cleaning it in. Should come up to the forefoot. So two points for Team Dunstone in the sixth end. Six to four, Team Dunstone after six. We'll be back, folks, for the seventh end. Stay tuned. See you in a bit. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. At Coyote, we know that when the weekend rolls around, you have two choices. Kick up your feet, or kick up some dirt. If only all decisions would be so easy. Coyote, we dig dirt. We're for agriculture. For growers, doers, whatever it takers. We're for doing things with purpose. We're for the little guy with big guy dreams. We're for agriculture. We're for you. Nutrien Ag Solutions, leading the field. Well, welcome back to the first annual Sioux Curlers Fall Classic. 
And we're in quarterfinal action. Team Keen and Team Dunstone. Currently in the seventh end. Team Dunstone just picked up eight two points at the last end. Now leading the contest 6-4. Center guard put up by Ryan Harmon on his first. And team Keen through a corner, and now we have uh, Sunstone lead Ryan trying to bury one behind the center. And just like a clock on time, Ryan puts it right in the right spot. Hard to tell if the. Uh... Center guard is touching the center line or not? I can't quite tell. It's yeah, it's close it's, it's close down there. So center guard, corner guard, team Dunstone in behind the center guard. Team Keen on the out turn. I would think Charlie looking for the freeze. It's yeah, this is tight. This was tight right out of his hand. It's really curly. It's actually gonna. He's actually going to overcurl it, and he was late. An unfortunate miss by Team Keen there, but... Lots of curl. Yeah, but at least it stayed out of the house, so it's a usable stone. It is. Yeah. Team Dunstone looking for the intern. I believe that's a freeze to their own shot rock. You have to get by the guard here first, and then make it curl. Ticking the guard is not, just ticking the guard is not an option. Get by first and then make it curl. Yeah, the boys are getting a pretty good scrub on this one, but they, they're gonna be by by quite a bit. I think it's more for weight than it is for line. Oh, there it comes in nice. Really good, good shot. shot. Yeah. yeah, good shot by Colton Lott there. Really good. Well managed by the sweepers as well. It really was. That was a good shot. Well done. Mark's looking at a tap or an angle raise. In turn. Yeah, I think they're into it now. I don't think you're going to see a blank this end unless... Uh, Things turn around quite dramatically, but I think this is the start here. If you can get this one positioned into the house on um, one of the green ones, maybe one, move one of the green stones around a little bit, save your shooter. Uh, you're still going to have two corner guards up and a, and a center line guard. So, still a lot of uh, opportunities for some offense this end. This is really curling again. Yeah, this one's really going, but they might be able to bump it in behind that corner of theirs. Right there? Yeah, yeah, there you go. So good plan B. Shooter goes, and he, shooter goes on the rings too. Yeah, and he split it. So I don't think that was the call, but uh, great result. Maybe it was, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, I couldn't tell though, if he wanted to go high side or low side, side on that one. But It was definitely the bump up with the weight, yeah. with the weight that, that, because he got the split, right? So they, yeah, weren't, sure. they weren't playing the angle race. No. So, um, <clears throat> Team Dunstone lying first and second, looking for a hit and roll. I... Boy, that's a lot of weight. Looking for a hit and roll. I think he's trying the double. Okay, there you go. Okay. <laughs> kind of like that, I guess, huh? Very nice yeah, shot. Yeah, that was, uh, I. I didn't even see that call. I saw Colton, I saw Colton <laughs> come out of the hack and went, whoa. He yeah. Was, that was he a, was cooking. Yeah, that was a great shot. Lots of weight. Good good shot by Team Dunstone. Team Keen, the broom's right in the middle of the rock here. Yeah, he's going to try to make some noise in the house there now. He's going to have some weight. There's a big kick, too. Look at the weight here. Nose hit, Charlie. Double. Yeah, I try to get some uh, granite moving in the house. Kind of like that. Oh, look at this. Wow, look at this. what a great shot. Well done. Yeah. Good call. Well swept. Well thrown, beauty. Yeah, these uh, two teams came to play tonight. Very, very nice shot. Seventh end. That vice skip for third stones now. 
Team Dunstone looking for a come around around the center guard. Lion one, partially buried Charlie around the corner. Yeah, uh, just looking to get this one. I, I don't even know if they want to go fully buried, but they definitely want to get it bare, or somewhat buried and not set up any sort of a double. Uh, just keep that force in play. Boys are sweeping pretty hard on this one. I, I think uh, it's going to get by. I think there's room. Oh, yeah, yeah. Buy the guard first and then make it curl. Yeah, I think I don't know if they want to overbury it too much. I think they want to just keep it. Yeah, they want to keep that the open side on the outside so they can't get any sort of a hit and roll in behind that corner. Uh, that was perfectly positioned. Good shot there by Team Dunstone. Well swept, well judged. Line two in the seventh end. Up to Team Keen looking for the run back again. Noah's hit yeah. Charlie are pretty close to it. Yeah, yeah, I think he'd, uh, if anything, he wants to hit this one just a little offset so he doesn't leave a center but gets the action off the back. That green towards the other green would be Plan. perfect. Looking I pretty think good. This is going to be close. This is going to be pretty close. Oh, wow. There we go. So two shots. Really well done. Yeah. Nice throw, good sweep, team shot, well done. It is open a little bit. I don't know, is that biting at the back? I can't, it's close. Yeah, I think it's off, but uh, they took a pretty good uh, pretty good look at it, and they didn't indicate either way, but the overhead here, when I look at our monitor, it looks like it's off, but it's pretty close. Let's see if that comes into play later in the end. Team Dunstone in turn hit, looking for the roll. Got to be careful with the green one at the back if they hit it too thin. This has to curl. They're, making, they're trying to make it curl anyway now. Yep. I think he's going to get a good little hit and roll. That's perfect. He's showing him the right side of that stone. If he, if he didn't roll that far, then he gets the hit and roll behind the corner. That does leave Team Keen the opportunity to chase it. It is open for them to chase this. Yeah, this this call will be dependent on whether that other uh, gunstone is counting over on the on the uh, side of the twelve. It is close. I I can't tell. It is very very close though. Mm -hmm. Interesting. See what Mark does here. And Team Keen looks like an intern. Quiet wait, I would think. Yeah, I think he's just throwing a nice control just to try to get that little kick inside. Intern. Brooms are down right away, which is always great. Trying to keep it straight or, or keeping it straight. Got to get by first, then they'll look for some curl. There it gets by. There, there's a the sweeper trying to make a curl. That was that was perfect. Yeah, didn't get much of a roll inside, but he made uh, solid contact on the nose. And Team Dunstone's gonna have to chase it back. So. Really good shot. Good on the sweepers too. Like I say, you got to get by first. If you try to carve that too soon and took the guard, that's not good. So as soon as he got by, and they tried to make a curl. That was well done. Bad for Team Dunstone on the end turn. You're going to try to follow that that shot by Team Kane. Nose hit or roll. Now, I guess nose hit would be best. Charlie, if they roll away, it gives a hit and roll. I'm not sure. We'll see how it unfolds here. Yeah, I think it's dependent on whether or not that other green one's in play. Yeah. If the other green one's in play, then if they roll away, they kind of, I guess, theoretically, they're splitting the house and the force is still on. If it's not in play and they roll away, you may see Team Keen go around that guard, try to force to, the force to get their two. Well, they'll be not forced to get their two, but they can... Oh, this is out of the guard. Ooh, wow. how did that come out? I think it actually touched the guard. Matt Dunstone made the hit to lay, well, one for sure. 
that did squeak the guard. <laughs> yeah. Squeaking there. Yeah, I like to see a close up replay of that because it also they went through the side of that guard. Yeah. The overhead looks like that uh, green is out of play. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so, so that's, uh, I think that's why you're going to see Tim King just try to wrap one around. So I'm not sure where he, where he tapped the positions because he definitely doesn't want to go behind the tee line because then Tim Winston could just follow him down. He doesn't want to go too shallow because then they just have that short slash run. Mark for Team Kane. Thinking about it here. Yeah, taking a little extra time cleaning that rock, making sure that everything's good to go. Out turn. Out turn draw. Sweepers are on it right away. Got to get by that center guard first. It looks like he's got lots of room. It's all weight dependent now. Sweeper's still on it. Gonna try to get the curl here, I think. Yeah, I think they want to. Looks like button weight to me. <gasps> Wanted to get the curl there. It is behind the T line. It does give Team Dunstone the opportunity to freeze to it. Yeah, interesting call there, just putting it behind the T. I guess he's I guess he's banking on possibly an unforced error. If Dunstone uh, follows this rock down, it's pretty much uh, got the force on. So Team Keen has shot Rock in the back of the four. Second shot is uh, Team Dunstone, top of the eight foot. And they're gonna attempt the freeze here. Out turn. It was a good throw there by Mark, just a, a little bit heavy, right? Yeah, I... Uh... I just think that if he was any later, I think you would have just seen uh, Team Dunstone just make that short run on that on their own green. And yes. They played that shot a few times there, so yes. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, if they had got it like near, say, top four foot, then they'd just slash it in, right? Yeah, and then the they're sitting. The angle in? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, then they're sitting too, so. Yeah. So Team Dunstone looking for a freeze here on the uh, shot rock at the back of the four foot. Got to get by the yellow first, that's for sure. If it curls really a lot, you got to get also past your own green rock, but it's looking pretty good. Yeah, it's coming in there. Yeah. Good shot, just back of the button. Yeah, and I don't think that, there's no angle there. I don't think you can get to the inside to get a deuce here. So the only thing uh, I don't even think it's there. The only thing, other thing I was thinking is if they now hit the top green on the one that was just thrown and kind of double them off or two, but uh, that green stone is is tucked in behind the uh, center guard. So yeah, I don't think the angle. Kind of yeah, I don't think the angle's quite right, right? Yeah, that's that's why I was. I'm, I'm not saying it's the wrong call, but I was just wondering why Team Team wanted to put their first rock behind the T lane like that. A little bit heavy, I think. Maybe, maybe they were looking for uh, like the butt and, and force a really good shot by Team Dunstone. Yeah, yeah. If he goes maybe top button, then he forces Team Dunstone to, to make that short raise, and anything can happen. You're going to take to that guard. Get the line really good. I think it was just a, a little bit heavy. But anyway, here we are. Team Keen seventh end, down two. Team Dunstone has shot rock. Back of the button. You can see where the broom is. Yeah, they got the street sweeper on it, which is always good. That's where they want it. This looks really good. Yep. 
Really good shot by Mark. So one for Team Kane. Seventh end. Going to be going to the eighth end, and the score is six to five for Team Dunstone. After seven, Team Dunstone will have a last rock advantage. Stay tuned, folks. Going to be a really good finish. We lost part of our forest to fire several years ago. We decided to stay and help it recover. People who have heavy machinery have the opportunity to reach out and help their neighbors for the common good. When your people are ready, your business is ready. Cintas makes sure they have what they need to perform their best. Whether it's freshly laundered work apparel for almost any job imaginable, fire protection systems that are tested and inspected, first aid and safety supplies, floor mats, or cleaning tools and restroom products, stocked and ready when you need them. Better work days happen together, so visit Cintas.com and get ready for the workday. Uh, welcome back to eighth end action at the Sioux Curvers Fall Classic. We had a uh, tight contest here between Team Keen of Ontario and Team Dunstone of Manitoba. Uh, Team Dunstone has the hammer, they're up one. Six five, playing eight. So Team Keen threw two center guards up. Fortunately, neither one are touching the center line therefore you see Team Dunstone gonna get rid of one of them. They play the tick shot anyways they can't take it on the play obviously but at least they can play the tick on it. Look for Team Dunstone here to play a split on the yellow rock right there closest to the rings. It'll be out turn. They threw the first, the Team Keen threw a, a high guard first, and then Team Dunstone came into the, into the rings, and then uh, another center guard by Team Keen, uh, Team Keen closest to the rings here. So they're gonna try to split out turn, split the yellow onto the rings, roll the shooter onto the rings. Yeah, this shot here will be just managed by the brooms. Looks like a yeah. really good shot here. Uh, excellent. Yeah, that's about as best as you can do right there. If your young curlers out there are watching and you want to know how to execute that shot, take, take notes on that one. Mark and team will be looking for another center guard. Maybe straight in line with the high guard that's way just over the hog line. Try to get get a good uh, like bury it so they can't play the split again. Yeah, their uh, their main goal here is to get it up. Uh, excuse me, get that uh, center line clogged up with as many rocks as they can, and then hopefully make a play on something in the house. At least draw one in. 
shot rock at some point. That team's done Dunstone. They're very they're uh, proficient hitters here, and Colton Lott is one of the best in the business. So we're going to see some heat on down on this one. His make uh, percentage is pretty high. It looks like he might just be taking the one now, Eric. What do yeah, you think? yeah, taking the one on the center line. The high guard is. They're playing the peel on the tighter guard here. It's on the center line, covering more of the button. So peel weight, team Dunstone. Watch the uh, yellow over there. Right yep. there, good shot. Really good shot by team Dunstone there. I think Mark has to get that tighter guard, but get it right in behind that high guard so they can't peel this. You know, rather than going in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Intern. Looking for a guard. Yeah, they're gonna keep lobbing up guards until probably skip stones, I would I would think, and then you know, try to make something happen in the house here, but it really has to curl. Yeah, by the looks where they're putting the ice, they, they're not uh, they're not looking at preparing it like you've suggested. And I could I can understand the reason why too. If they do bury it in behind the other uh, the other guard up there, then they're only guarding half the forefoot, I guess. Whereas if they keep that one close to the center, they're guarding a little bit more of the forefoot. But they're gonna just keep ripping this off. Keep Dunstone on the peel. Big weight throw there. Well done. Eighth end. Team Dunstone up 6 5. They do have yeah. last rock advantage. Yeah, and Mark just indicated that he wanted this one um, a little bit more buried than the last two. So I think that would, uh, I think, yeah, otherwise they're just. They'll keep peeling this, you know, peeling the center guard. And see if they if they try to get this around a little off that center line anyway. Is that less ice than the other ones? Did you know? I think it was just a tad less. Okay. Yeah, and you can see it's starting to move quite a bit here now. As they, get, they, get, they hit that curl spot, but he's just a tad heavier too, so it's carrying a little bit further. Wow, look at the wet side. Yeah. yeah, that last rotation will probably move three inches. So now, now you're seeing them uh, take off that high guard now because all the plays in the house. Team Dunstone on the out turn. Peeling off the center guard. Good throw there. Yeah, and uh, Team Keen will lob up another center. Out turn center guard, Charlie, here. Yes, sir. On the out turn. Yeah, I think they're going to want to split the center with this one. They can. Team Dunstone is lying first and second. Team Keen lying third shot rock. Looking to guard the third shot rock. Yeah, this one's curling. It's going to end up on a corner guard by the time it finishes, I think. It's really bending over there. Oh, not bad. It guards the other one. Pretty good. Yep. Right, now they're going to go after that shot stone. Or, excuse me, the third shot stone in the house now. There was lots of curl on that one. Mm -hmm. I think what they're they don't want to do though is they don't want to peel this one off and then rip their other green one off with the shooter as it coming across. I think they want to keep that green one in play as a kind of a, an insurance stone just in case they have to later on. Have first and second if they can. Yeah. Out turn. They kind, of, they kind of looked at that that they didn't they wanted to make sure that they didn't lose it. So oh they're gonna try to they're gonna try to peel that fin like they just did through the walls. So Out turn three. to Dunstone makes the peel. Saves the second shot stone. Mark looking to come around the guard. 
get at least second shot anyway. Yeah, they're running out of the stones to get uh, to make a play for uh, being the counter here. So you can see him see him throw this this draw, get that guard in play, and then you're gonna. Well, this next one, he's going to have to do something on that forefoot, whether he does a little bump or just bumps it back or gets a little flip inside. But obviously, it's going to be dependent on what uh, Matt does on his first first stone as well. Mark Keen on the. Looking for a draw around cover here. There's a guard up front and Mark would like, Mark and the team would like it completely buried. And the second shot. Yeah, that one slid a little bit too deep for his liking, but Good attempt there by Mark. It just um, over curled, really went in there. Team Dunstone looking on the intern and chase that. They have to get past that guard first. No option on rub. You don't want to rub that that guard. You got to get by first, Charlie. Right? Absolutely. Don't want to breeze it by either. It's going to be like no. weight. Yeah. And if you are going to touch that guard, you want to you want to hit it hard. You don't want to <laughs> yeah. just feather it. Yeah. So it's going to be one of those calls that if it looks like it's anywhere near that guard, you may see them just uh, peel it off. So, but uh, I'm I'm pretty confident with that ace with soft weight that he's going to be fine there. He's probably just throwing an ace uh, forward board to control. Matt and Team Dunstone. They're up 6-5. They have last rock advantage. Looking to remove the Team Keen, which is, I believe, second shot rock. Yep. On the intern, the brooms go down quick. You got to get it past the guard first. Rubbing the guard is not an option. Oof. Good sweep in there. Good throw. Nice shot. Good call by by uh, the third for Team Dun Dunstone, BJ Newfeld. Yep. Mark Keane for Team Keane. Yeah, he's going Charlie, what do you think? Yeah, I think you got to, he has to almost play the same shot he did or what he's pointing out there now. If he can get a corner frozen on the inside of that open stone, and then if uh, Team Dunstone tries to smash it, it may roll flat against that other stone now. So um, They have to be shot rock. Yeah, that that's that's the issue with that, with that call, or excuse me, with what they have right now is that rock is a little bit too forward of the T line. So, what do you I think? Right where the broom is now. Now. Yeah, I think screen. he's actually. I think he's actually looking to hit it, uh, Eric. Okay. Maybe bump it back where they where they're pointing on the rock and actually rolling over to the corner, possibly of that other green one. But see, he's kind of he keeps pointing to that one and then kind of sliding over to the other one. Okay, we'll see what they're going to play. Yeah, I don't. Think there's any other way that you can you can get shot rock by freezing anything? So I think he's just looking for the flat hit and roll, kind of like a hit and roll corner freeze. So it's just corner freezing by drawing there is hard enough. But. So Team Keen looking for it. It looks like a hit and roll and corner freeze. The second shot stole. They need they need a point here in the last end. Mark's going to have to make a beauty here and force Team Dunstone into a, a difficult shot. We'll see what happens. Out turn. Rooms go down fast. 
Keep it yeah. clean. Yeah, this is a precise line call. It's They're going to have to get this good. one perfect. It's looking pretty good. The angle is correct. Ooh, maybe just Very a nice little shot. little too much action off the, off the other one. Good attempt there by Mark and Team Keen. It is... Uh, it is open for Team Dunstone. Yep. So he's probably you can see. Oh, it's a good half from the hack, I would think. So he's just going to come here. The nice thing is he pretty much just threw the stone at the interim in his last one. So should have good feel for it. Good shot there by Mark. Line shot rock. This is for the game here. Team Dunstone have to make contact with the shot rock. Yeah, as long as they make contact, they win. If they happen to not be successful in removing it, then we're gonna go to an extra, but. Shot rock is just biting the button there. Rubbing the guard is not an option. Breezing it by is not an option. <laughs> so it's gotta be a perfect shot. Out turn, probably lightweight, I would, say, I would think. Yeah, I think with that uh, ice that they're showing there is probably close to the same way he just threw on his first one. So they got uh, Brian doing the straight sweep on on this one here. So if it starts to move, he'll pound this thing straight. Matt, Team Dunstone, out and turn, light weight. Team Keen, line shot, rock to tie the game. Yeah, line looks pretty good. Trying to make this curl. Looks pretty good. It's coming in nice. Boys aren't panicking. Very nice. There it is. So the final seven five, uh, seven, uh, sorry, nine five for Team Dunstone. Yeah, well played game by both teams. Really, they traded deuces and. Really well played game. Enjoyed every minute of uh, doing this with Charlie. We had fun. I hope uh, you enjoyed the game. And thanks to the guys on the ice for uh, giving us a really good game here. It was well done. Take care, folks. Yep, thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in. sanctuary absolutely brings me peace the work is 100 percent cathartic for me you know i find myself getting tied up in it and being busy and then it's really nice just to sit breathe in life and it's beyond zen